everybody! So today I'm going to show you how to make bone broth in your Instapot. It's really easy, really simple, and it's pretty quick. So let's get to it! Okay everybody, so that's the Instapot. I don't have a very big one. For those of you that have a bigger one, you can make a larger amount of this. We had chicken the other night, and I'm just pulling off, you can see, the skin from it that was left because um, I don't want the breadcrumbs in it because that would be harder to strain out. But this is something you can make with just really some scraps and that's great. This one has a lot of meat left on it which is fine. I can pull the meat off when it's done cooking and maybe make a pot pie out of it or we'll have to see what's left. So I'd like to break them where the joints are because a bone broth you really want the collagen to seep out of the bones. So that way you're getting all the nutritional benefits from making a bone broth. The difference between making a bone broth and making just like regular, not stock, but just a meat broth, it's a little bit healthier for you. And you're not using the meat to make it, you're using the bones. So it's a little bit different. Bone broth is actually really good. It protects your joints. It's good for your gut. It maintains healthy skin. It supports your immune function, boosts detox detoxification, and aids in metabolism. So out of scraps left over from a chicken dinner, we're actually able to make quite a decent amount of this. All right, so next I'm gonna cut up an onion and throw that in there for an additional, some additional flavor and some garlic. Okay, so I cut up the onion. Now I am putting some garlic in there. If you like a lot of garlic, so I put a big scoop. I am making the broth with a wonton soup you want it. You are welcome. So you just fill it. So you have to have a couple cups of water in your Instapot no matter what. I would probably put at least three because this is going to be on for about four hours. But if you have just the three as opposed to filling it up, you will get a lot more of the collagen. It'll be a lot thicker. It'll be more like a jelly consistency. It's on. I'm making sure that the vent's closed. And then you're going to hit the soup broth. You're gonna hit this twice, which it's already set up for that. That soup is like 20 minutes, 30, and then four hours. You want that for the broth, because you want it to be on high. You got a cutie car. You got a cutie car. Okay, so now this is gonna turn on. It's gonna come up to pressure. It's gonna run for four hours, and I will show you how to strain it when it's done. Okay guys, so it's been four hours, and what I'm actually gonna do is cancel. So now it's turning off and it is still, yep Kenzie, it is still got pressure in there. So we're going to let it naturally release while it's off. And this is going to do two things. It's going to allow the pan to be cool enough that when it's done I can touch it. And I'm not also going to spray steam everywhere because I found when there's a lot of liquid in the Instapot it does spray out um, steam that is very um. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it, it sputters, let's just put it that way. Alright, so as you can see, the pressure has been released, so we're just gonna turn this, make sure there's nothing else, which I don't think so, but just double check. Okay, and that actually looks really good. It's a nice, deep, rich color. It smells actually really yummy. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it in a colander because I still have the pieces of chicken in here. Okay, so slow. Wonton soup. My daughter's gonna be happy. Enough of 
This is better than homemade broth. So obviously if there's any little bones or whatnot, it's still gonna be in there. So I'm gonna strain it one more time with like a fine mesh strainer. Just like to get all the big pieces out first, otherwise it kind of clogs up that mesh strainer and it takes forever. So this is one extra step, but it actually shortens the amount of time. All right, so I just put it back in because I'm not gonna dirty another bowl. After I rinsed, I rinsed the pan for the Instapot because I don't want, um, there's still some pieces sticking to the edge. Now this isn't going to get a whole lot out, but it does get a little bit of the, a little bit of pieces out. And mostly it's, you can see the strainer does a lot um, of the garlic and stuff. But now you can either freezer bag it and put it in the freezer. You can can it. I'm gonna show you. It's a nice, deep, rich color. It's got a lot of the, the fats and the cartilage in it, and it's really gonna help ward off the flu in this house. And I always, I have canned jars in the freezer, which um, there's some, the wide mouth jars actually have a freeze line on them. So that's easy, you don't actually have to um, pressure it, pressurize it in the pressure cooker because we use it so quickly and like I didn't want to have to deal with that step. Or you can just put it in a freezer bag and freeze it. So this is just gonna go in the fridge because we're gonna use it tomorrow to make some wonton soup. But, oh, it smells so good and that soup's gonna taste extra yummy because homemade broth is always the best. All right everybody, have a blessed day and if you have any other tips or suggestions on how you make your bone broth, leave them in the comments. Thank you.